beginning by making the roti, I'm using plain flour, but you could use half plain and half wholemeal if you prefer. To that, I'm going to add a pinch of salt and then a tablespoon of oil. And then just use your fingers to rub it into the flour. And then once you can feel that all the oil has been mixed in, it's time to add some water. I've got lukewarm water here. For the full recipe, just click on the link. And it should come together to form a quite soft ball. And then just knead that for about five minutes until it's smooth. The flatbreads are really easy to make because they don't need very long to rest or rise. And then once the dough feels nice and smooth, just shape it into a little round. And then to cover it, I'm just going to pop the bowl back on the top and leave that now for 15 minutes to rest. I'm going to stir together three tablespoons of tandoori paste and one tablespoon of oil. I've got some strips here of paneer cheese. I'm going to add those. I've also got some green peppers that I've cut into strips. And just give those a gentle stir to coat them in the tandoori mixture. Now the peppers need about four to five minutes. I'm going to pop those in first. Now, while the peppers are cooking, I'm just going to stir together some natural yogurt with some very finely chopped coriander stalks. And I've got some chopped coriander leaves. I'm going to put half of those in. And the same with these chilies. Keep a few back for decorating. And of course, the yogurt's going to work really well at cooling down the heat from the tandoori peppers and paneer. Once the peppers are nice and soft, just push them to the sides of the pan and lay the strips of paneer alongside them. And they only need a couple of minutes on each side, just until they're warm through and nicely bar marked. So our dough is nicely rested now, and there's enough here to make four flatbreads. And this feels really nice and soft, but it's a good idea just to put a little bit of flour on in case it starts to stick. And because we want a nice round shape, just turn it anti-clockwise between each roll, and that'll give us an even shape, but don't worry too much if it's a little bit imperfect. You want it really nice and thin, about 20 centimetres in diameter. It only needs a minute on each side. You can see some bubbles rising up through the surface as it starts to cook. And then flip that over, lift it onto your plate. I'm going to spoon some of that delicious yoghurt on the base. And then I've got some shredded lettuce and cucumber. And now for our paneer and peppers. And then to finish it off, a little sprinkle of coriander, some chopped red chilli and a little wedge of lemon for squeezing over. For more recipes, don't forget to click to subscribe.